Hello, and welcome to a vlog. This is this is lockdown, okay? I realized that I used to vlog so much on my second channel, on this channel here. It was an extra place to create things. But not even that, it, it feels more like it was a time capsule. It was a... Um, like, I can go back and look at vlogs on this channel as this was what was going through my life. I can see myself, except I always refer to him in the third person. It's like, what was he thinking? Like, look what he's up to. Uh, oh, he's so hyper today. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever felt the same thing, whether you vlog or um, if you look at like old photos of yourself and you're like, what's she thinking? What's he thinking? You know, uh, right now, I mean, look at this. This is, it's funny because I always critiqued in every one of these old vlogs as well. Like, God, I was watching one and I was like, this is the worst facial hair I've ever had. And then I watched another one and I went, no, 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 this, I'll show you, look at this, look at this guy, it looks like a, his name is Jebediah, also interesting, like, all my old outfits, I'd wear, like, bright green with, like, a blue button-up top, confusing, um, I also find it interesting, uh, it's just, I feel like when you are documenting your life in this way, in a vlog, uh, as, as the old people say, uh, it's so interesting because it just feels as if everything that you're doing matters to you at that very moment when and you think like you've got it all figured out when in reality you know it, even you you don't uh, like even a video i made on this channel i want to say was it earlier like late last year which was like how to how to make good quality video uh I'm, I'm still really happy with that video but what's interesting about it is that looking at it now i was like oh i've already seen so many things that i was like oh it's way too saturated so i think that just goes to show that um this fear that i think i've had of just um, creating content that isn't good, um, this just ever aching fear isn't productive in the slightest, you know, it's holding back. I'd rather create things. I'd rather uh, document what's going on in my life, such as what I'm doing right now with this vlog, than not do anything at all, than be paralyzed by that fear, by be paralyzed that I can't do anything unless it's good enough for X, Y, and Z. Uh, even, I think, after I started um, making these videos here as a travel channel, because I just really love travel, I wanted more travel opportunities, and they came after I started putting in a lot of work. But then I felt, maybe I don't have anywhere else to just create things. Oh, like, for instance, I can't upload here now. This is a travel channel. People aren't going to like if I... You know what? I, I appreciate you getting this part of the video. Like, I'm, I'm my own person. I'm just a guy. And, um... Yeah, I like creating things, and this channel, despite it being a travel channel in branding, is still just my second channel. I'm, I'm doing whatever I want over here. To give you an update uh, on my life so far, look at this, I've got just things next to me. I've got a big old pack of cotton gloves, uh, which is what I bought so that I could um, handle all the prints coming out of my printer. Uh, with delicacy, okay? I don't want you getting my, my nasty fingerprints on them like I talked about in the, uh, the previous little vlog here. Also recently invested in a Pilot Metropolitan, which is a really nice quality ha -ha, fountain pen. Uh, hopefully, because it's really, really nice quality for uh, me to be signing these certificates and things. Um, annoyingly, don't have any ink for it. Had to buy an ink pot. But this is a day in my life. Today I went to, I, I went down the street. I have a lot of stress uh, revolving around posting things. I I hope I'm not the only one like this. I just feel like most of my friends are really uh, highly functional and can just go out to the post office. Uh, and I think by communicating it, it helps me feel like it's not as bad. But anytime, like people, if you are one of those people that buys things on like ASOS and you're like, I don't like it, I'll send it back. How the, how do you do this? I genuinely can't figure that out. Me personally, if I order something on like a website like that, I just, the, the, the thought of going to the post office, the thought of like having to go to the form, sorry, I don't like this one, okay, send it back, write this down on a package, resend it, go to the post office, wait in the queue, here it is, yes, okay, yeah, that's my name, I don't know why, but that, everything about that stresses me out, everything about that gives me so much anxiety, um, and I think it's because I have like some, I definitely have some form of high functioning ADHD, uh, every time I take a test for it, it's always like, you don't have it but you're a tiny, tiny fraction from having it. Uh, and I think it's because I have a lot of the qualities of it, but I'm just a tiny amount, like, under being full-blown ADHD, uh, which is weird, because that's also um, what I was classified as when I was a kid. 
Uh, I remember getting, my brothers had it real bad and I got tested and I was told I had three of the seven tenants. Uh, so luckily, unless I had four, didn't have it. Hell yeah, survived. But also uh, now that I'm trying to like think more clearly about um, my actions and how my brain works, uh, I've come to a lot of realizations that yeah, I think um, I definitely have um, ADHD in some regards only because I thought like I think many people do, uh, the ADHD is mainly classified as, what's that? You know, like where you just aren't able to focus. Mine is the exact opposite. It's the incredible hyper focus. As in, like, let's just say I have four tasks to do for the day. I will just go so hard into one of the tasks. And then as, something, as soon as like a light inkling of a segue brings me to the second task, and I'm like, oh, but I have to do three and four. Those are important. It's like, nope. And I just go straight in to the to the um, to the other task. I think that is where I am. I get really hyper into things, and that's why, like, I'll have I'll go through a week where I'm like, I'm making music. Oh, I'm so excited. I want to make music so bad. And then the next week, I'll be like, uh, like I I've forgotten completely about making music because right now I'm doing the photography prints. Oh, right now I'm doing this series I'm working on for YouTube. Or I, I'm I want to be like a photographer YouTuber. I want to be a video YouTuber. I want to just be a British American. I just want to be myself. Who is myself? Don't know. Um, but he's the guy that you're watching right now. So thanks for staying in touch. If anything, I feel like I'm just talking to future me because that's the person that watches these videos the most probably. Hi, future Evan. Hope you're doing well. Thirty years old. Pandemic's hopefully over right right is that is that happening um but if you're not me hi i'm going to be doing more vlogs on this channel just vlogging about my daily life because i think that's fun and i think it'd be a good idea so if you're into that uh yeah i guess you know what to do but if you don't subscribe i don't know how did you not know that what do you anyway I i'll see you uh, on the next one evan or you i'm just gonna call you future evan goodbye future evan also, I just want to note that before I started this video, I, I held a gray card out because as much as I'm trying to do these as low effort as possible, I'm still shooting flat and color grading in post, but I'm not color grading. I'm just, I'm literally just putting in my LUT that I created and I just go boom, dot. Even though it, there might be bits where I'm overexposed, I don't care. All right. I, I'm like, I'm trying to show, like trying like to make this easy as much easy on myself as possible while also feeling like, oh, cool. That looks nice. Anyway, I've blathered on for too long. Goodbye.